Winter can be a tough season for those of us who appreciate the beauty of the night sky. Although nights are long, it has been difficult to see or photograph the universe in the Netherlands due to the seemingly endless weeks of clouds in winter. But even in these conditions, there's still beauty to be found. In the Dutch polder, winter brings with it a stillness and calm that I really appreciate. Take to the folder to capture the beauty of the clouds that often linger in front of the sun for weeks at a time, above the empty farmlands with its coots and ducks looking for a meal in the many ditches. We need clouds to appreciate clear skies, and we need the call to appreciate the warmth in spring and summer. Let us use this winter season to find creative ways to stay connected to our night sky and all of its wonders. So hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And first and foremost, let me wish you a happy, healthy, successful, and especially clear 2023. And that's also what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. You can see it in the, in the background here. Uh, it's winter time and we do experience a lot of these cloudy days and cloudy nights. And of course, then it's, it's hard to stay motivated uh, being an astrophotographer. So I just wanted to share with you what I usually do to try and stay motivated during these cold and cloudy uh, winter days and winter nights actually. What I also want to say is thank you for the 30,000 subscribers. I never expected to reach this number uh, on my channel. So thank you so much for subscribing. Now I know I have the best subscribers in the whole wide, wide world. Uh, so, uh, and thanks a lot also for all the feedback you have been giving me on my channel. So it's highly appreciated. And I already showed you a little bit what I do uh, during the day, when it's not raining, I try to go out and visit the countryside and uh, yeah, do some photography and do so, take some videos just to stay engaged. Um, what I also do to stay engaged is to go out with my Star Adventure 2i Pro, so that's a star tracker. When the clouds do clear, I can appreciate the ancient universe in our night sky and take time to capture the stars and constellations in time-lapse photography. Though it is also frustrating to have the clouds obscure our view. It almost feels like a game the universe is playing with us. It only shows us a glimpse of its beauty before the clouds come back to cover them again. Let me um, show you another thing I do to stay engaged in yeah, or stay connected to astrophotography or astronomy in general. And it is to read up on the latest space discoveries. And of course, there are lots of resources and websites you can go to. But I want to mention this one in particular. So this is Zedit. And yeah, it's a Dutch monthly magazine about the latest space discoveries. And uh, they have been featuring my pictures. And I'm in the January edition, so thank you so much, Zenit. Here they put my Rosette Nebula, the Rosette Navel in Dutch. They put that into the January edition. Um, this is actually a collaboration with Serve Vaassen. He is a freelance, uh, a freelance journalist from 
Maastricht, if I'm correct. So, Serve, if you're watching, thank you so much for also writing this article about the Rosette Nebula. Lots of details about, uh, yeah, that it, it is, of course, a star formation region where lots of newborn stars. Uh, I think 2500 is the latest count, so that's unbelievable. So there are many newborn stars inside that Rosette Nebula. And I was able to get into this collaboration with Serve and share it for at least the Dutch uh, audience. So I'm always very grateful when I'm able to do that. So let me show you a little bit more of that Dutch countryside. And after that, I will show you some more tips on what I do to survive these cloudy winter days. So hi guys, I hope you enjoyed that little drone flight across the Dutch countryside. Uh, as you can see, we have lots of rivers, ditches also, farmland, but also nature reserves where a lot of birds are spending the winter. More and more birds are spending the winter in the Netherlands. And I think that is because uh, our winters used to be a lot colder. So we used to go ice skating a lot in the winter, but for the past five or 10 years in the Netherlands, it's, it has been this eternal ultimate, you can see it in the back. <laughs> Another thing I often do is I try to revisit my pictures I took a couple of years ago. So uh, when you're into astrophotography for six, seven, eight years like me, you usually have a lot of external hard, hard drives full of astrophotography pictures. And during that time, you also probably learned newer techniques or learned to work with newer software. And it's often very rewarding to go back to these, to your older astrophotography data and try to reprocess those pictures uh, using the new techniques that you have learned. It's actually pretty windy. I hope you can still uh, still hear me talking. Uh, but anyway, um, you often, you, you can get surprised by the end result you get when using these new techniques on older pictures. Also wanted to share some mishap I have experienced. Actually, I'm pretty devastated about it. Uh, I was using two external USB hard drives to store my data. And in the summertime, we moved for, to, a new, uh, to a new home, to a new house, uh, still in Utrecht in the Netherlands, the same city, but a little bit on the outskirts of that city. Um, but anyway, for some reasons, my, my external USB hard drives, two of them, they crashed simultaneously, so I cannot access the data anymore. I already went to a local computer shop, they couldn't help me, so any ad advice would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to, to see if these hard disks can be recovered. Um, but anyway, th these are the kind of things I do to survive these cloudy winter nights. I hope uh, they are useful to you, and let me also show you those final pictures I was able to, or the, the newer pictures I was able to process using some of my older data uh, of the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula. On those precious sparse nights when the winter clouds part, I feel so incredibly lucky to be able to witness the ancient universe in all its glory. Orion has always been my favorite winter target with its mesmerizing Orion, Horsehead and Flame Nebulae. The Orion Nebula is the closest star-forming region to us on Earth, roughly 1350 light-years away, about 2 million years old. The Horsehead Nebula is a small dark nebula situated near the bright star Elnitech in Orion's belt, along with the Flame Nebula, which are both part of the same Orion star-forming region. Hello. 
Are you coming? Oh, let's see if it goes out of the water. Hey. <laughs> I guess it's feeling threatened. Interesting sound. He's saying, this is my place. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll let you go. 